Fraser Valley News, Chill TV, Abbey TV, uh, VBN Sports. This is a really tough one. It's not an April Fool's joke, even though it has happened on April the 1st. We have lost Red Robinson, the radio legend, Canada's first rock and roll disc jockey from the 1950s. Uh, I have the privilege and the honor to say I worked with Red twice at Sea Island Z95. And again, uh, when we were all under the Rogers umbrella, he was at uh, 104.9 FM. We called it Format Du Jour because they kept changing formats. And I was at News 1130. Red was always there for anybody who needed him. And he was a sounding board. When I first got into, when I first got to CJVI in Victoria, I was 19, Red was 40 something. Uh, we were owned by Selkirk. And, uh, excuse me, uh, I was this young jock at CJVI. Red was doing mornings, it was country then at CKWX. And he also had his ad agency, Verlac Robinson. Red would always say when I asked for career advice, Mr. Robinson, hey, no, no, it's Red. Look, kid, you're gonna be okay, kid. Almost 20 years later, we worked, worked together again at Sea Island, Z95. He still kept calling me kid. Uh, with love, by the way. It wasn't a, a sarcastic thing. There were a couple of times uh, when, in my life, personally, let alone professionally, that things got pretty dark, and Red and his late wife, Carol, were always there. In fact, two major occasions, Red and Carol were the first to call saying, are you okay? So to uh, Red's daughters, uh, lots of love. This is a tough one for you. I know that Red, his late wife, Carol, and their son, who passed away a number of years ago, are at that great radio station in the sky. Uh, I know the camera's kind of bouncing around. I didn't put it on a tripod. I just wanted to echo my thoughts. Red man, going to miss you. I thank you so very much. I have the privilege and the honor on my resume to say, I worked with the legend, Red Robinson. <laughs>